Dear Jared, it's hard to find the words to sum up the past six years. We've experienced so much together. God works in remarkable ways. I prayed for a man who was hardworking, honorable, and faithful. You came into my life when I needed you most and have proven to be everything and more. I cannot wait to continue our adventure as husband and wife. I know our loyalty to one another and our faith in God will continue as we lead, as He leads us to pursue the dreams we never thought were possible. You inspire me to be bigger, brighter, and bolder, a person I did not know I could become. I hope you know we are a team and we put together for big reasons bigger than ourselves. I choose you as my lifelong teammate as I come to make this commitment today. I want you to know I will choose you forever more with love, your bride. Because of you, I have found hope. You have given me something to live for, and I can honestly say that you have helped me to grow into the man that I am today. I have found the reason my heart beats and what the purpose has always been in my life. I have thought about this day ever since I fell in love with you, ever since I had the slightest thought that you and I would turn into something more. And I guessed right, because here we are on our wedding day. I promise to love God with all my heart and to be the spiritual leader of our home. I promise to inspire you the way you have always inspired me, to kiss your cheeks when they are stained with the tears of hardship and the tears of happiness. I promise to be your best friend, and I promise to honor and cherish you the rest of the days of our lives. I will love you forever and always, Curry Faith Chandler. So hurry up and get down that aisle, because forever will never be long enough for me. Wow, you look beautiful. Good friends, we gather together in the sight of God to witness and bless the joining together of Jared and Curry in Christian marriage. The covenant of marriage was established by God who created us male and female for each other. With his presence and his power, Jesus graced a wedding in Cana of Galilee, and with his sacrificial love, he gave us the example of the love between a husband and wife. Eternal God, author of salvation, giver of all grace, bless and sanctify with your Holy Spirit, Jared and Curry, who come now to jewel in marriage. Grant that they may give their vows to each other in the strength of your steadfast love. Enable them to grow in love and peace with you and with one another all the days of their life, that they may reach out in concern and service to all the world. Through Christ our Lord. In the name of God. In the name of God. I, Curry Chandler. I, Curry Chandler. Take you, Jared Sloan. Take you, Jared Sloan. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. This day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow.
22 years ago, I prayed that you'd give me a family, something I could cherish and watch grow. And you said yes. You gave me a beautiful, curly, dark-haired little girl named Curry. And three other great kids that have brought absolute joy to my life. And then about 10 years ago, I prayed, Lord, let time stand still. Don't let them grow up anymore. And you said no. You said you make flowers to bloom and children to grow. And then I prayed, Lord, let Curry find someone that will make her happy and her life complete. And you said yes. And you brought Jared into Curry's life. And just yesterday, I prayed that you bring sunshine. And you said yes. That whatever it is that you're looking for, what you're asking for is right. And if you ask God, He'll say yes. And so, God, my prayer here now is that you bring great joy and happiness to her here. Make your love eternal, a life full of yes. And quoting my favorite philosopher, George Strait. It's not the breaths you take, but the moments that take your breath away. And Lord, I stand here completely breathless in front of you. Thanking you for the union of Curry and Jared. In Jesus' name. She taught me to be firm for what I believe in and never let anyone tell me I can be less than the very best. She also taught me to be careful with words and strong in action. And I can say on behalf of both of us that we are very proud of our children. Me and Curry have been real close ever since we were little. Every picture we take, Curry's got me in this little, this little pose. <laughs> Some would say it looks like a chokehold. I think it's a but I feel like we really bonded. When we were playing outside and Curry sees this turtle. And she, uh, she put the turtle down by its pants in our mind. <laughs> I feel like that's really a moving connected. Therefore, your blessing upon Jared and Curry, that they may surely keep their marriage covered, and so grow in love and godliness together, and that their home may be a haven of blessing and peace. Indeed, enable them to bear witness to your love in this world, so that to those whom love is a stranger, they may be found generous friends. And now may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit rest on you now and into the future as you grow as one. Amen.